Who is Michael the Archangel? The spirit creature called Michael is not mentioned often in the Bible. However, when he is referred to, he is in action. In the book of Daniel, Michael is battling wicked angels, in the letter of Jude, he is disputing with Satan, and in Revelation, he is waging war with the devil and his demons. By defending Jehovah's rulership and fighting God's enemies, Michael lives up to the meaning of his name, who is like God. But who is Michael? At times, individuals are known by more than one name. For example, the patriarch Jacob is also known as Israel, and the apostle Peter as Simon. Likewise, the Bible indicates that Michael is another name for Jesus Christ, before and after his life on earth. Let us consider scriptural reasons for drawing that conclusion. Archangel God's word refers to Michael, the archangel. This term means, chief angel. Notice that Michael is called the archangel. This suggests that there is only one such angel. In fact, the term, archangel, occurs in the Bible only in the singular, never in the plural. Moreover, Jesus is linked with the office of archangel. Regarding the resurrected Lord Jesus Christ, 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 16 states, The Lord himself will descend from heaven with a commanding call, with an archangel's voice. Thus the voice of Jesus is described as being that of an archangel. This scripture therefore suggests that Jesus himself is the archangel Michael. Army leader. The Bible states that, Michael and his angels battled with the dragon and its angels. Thus, Michael is the leader of an army of faithful angels. Revelation also describes Jesus as the leader of an army of faithful angels. And the Apostle Paul specifically mentions the Lord Jesus and his powerful angels. So the Bible speaks of both Michael and his angels and Jesus and his angels. Since God's word nowhere indicates that there are two armies of faithful angels in heaven, one headed by Michael and one headed by Jesus, it is logical to conclude that Michael is none other than Jesus Christ in his heavenly role. The first occurrence of the name is in the 10th chapter of Daniel, where Michael is described as one of the foremost princes, he came to the aid of a lesser angel who was opposed by the prince of the royal realm of Persia. Michael was called the prince of Daniel's people, the great prince who is standing in behalf of the sons of Daniel's people. This points to Michael as the angel who led the Israelites through the wilderness. Lending support to this conclusion is the fact that, Michael the archangel had a difference with the devil and was disputing about Moses' body. There are also other correspondences establishing that Michael is actually the son of God. Daniel, after making the first reference to Michael, recorded a prophecy reaching down to the time of the end, and then stated, and during that time Michael will stand up, the great prince who is standing in behalf of the sons of Daniel's people. Michael's standing up was to be associated with a time of distress such as has not been made to occur since there came to be a nation until that time. In Daniel's prophecy, standing up frequently refers to the action of a king, either taking up his royal power or acting effectively in his capacity as king. This supports the conclusion that Michael is Jesus Christ, since Jesus is Jehovah's appointed king, commissioned to destroy all the nations at Harmageddon. The book of Revelation specifically mentions Michael in connection with the establishment of God's kingdom and links this event with trouble for the earth, and war broke out in heaven, Michael and his angels battled with the dragon, and the dragon and its angels battled. And I heard a loud voice in heaven say, now have come to pass the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ, because the accuser of our brothers has been hurled down. On this account be glad, you heavens and you who reside in them. Woe for the earth and for the sea. Jesus Christ is later depicted as leading the heavenly armies in war against the nations of the earth. This would mean a period of distress for them, which would logically be included in the time of distress that is associated with Michael's standing up. Since the Son of God is to fight the nations, 
it is only reasonable that he was the one who with his angels earlier battled against the superhuman dragon, Satan the devil, and his angels. In his pre-human existence Jesus was called, the Word. He also had the personal name Michael. By retaining the name Jesus after his resurrection, the Word, shows that he is identical with the Son of God on earth. Resuming his heavenly name Michael and adopting the title, the Word of God, connects him with his pre-human existence. The very name Michael, asking as it does, who is like God, points to the fact that Jehovah God is without like, or equal, and that Michael his archangel is his great champion or vindicator. If you enjoyed this content, please subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, leave your comments below and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching, God bless.